there's a rotating object. Drawing a green line makes it appear to rotate right. If we draw a red line, it begins vertical rotation. It's a focus-based illusion. Let's explore illusion artworks. Join us as we explore why illusions occur. Assume some I asked for a fun illusion. Yes. Are you ready? Sure, art. Different for art students. Totally different. Drawing 3D on flat paper is an illusion itself. Can you show your skills right now? Absolutely possible. Absolutely possible. Possible. Okay. Finished. How's this? Watch closely. You know, okay, flat. Swipe. Press it. Oh, see it. Cool. So about the illusion you prepared for today, it's more interesting. Right? There are many more amazing ones, and I found out there's an illusion contest. Someone first. Can I? Yes! <laughs> first, I've prepared something. It's the most familiar and amazing every time. A and B. The top panels are exactly the same in size and shape. Same shape? Yes. How the same? This is the shape. I'll measure A. Oh, right, right. Is it right? Okay. Can't cut, pass it. As is. A. Pass it. Da -da 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 -da. Oh! <laughs> For real. Amazing. Next, A and B are same size and shape. Measuring A passing through. Don't cut. Right? Why same? Ta-ta. Oh, seen this a lot. My top disbelief. <laughs> They're identical. I, I <laughs> I'm just drawing lines with my eyes like this, right? Yes. Right's bigger. Measure now. Go. Yes. Red. <laughs> same. <laughs> All of these things focus on relativity, showing that our eyes aren't as absolute as we think. Next up is something called the magic dragon. Really popular then. As you can see, it looks ordinary, right? Just looks like a dragon head. Yes, it's, it looks like a dragon head, but it's concave. It's inverted. Normally, it would be convex and sticking out, but instead it's concave. And when you move it, something strange happens. Seems 3D. Ah, uh, but some, some, this is quite common though. Okay. I'll find something unique. It's fascinating every time I see it. Yeah! Look at this cube. <laughs> Floating. Wow, this is amazing. Amazing, right? Like this. Truly amazing. Like this. Some some amazing. <laughs> it's a window. Let me spin it. Something. Don't you feel something strange, everyone? How does it look to you? Oh, what is happening? Look. One direction. I'm constantly. Spinning it clockwise. Oh. oh! Something feels odd. Why is it strange? Isn't it fascinating? I spun it in one direction. Didn't it feel like it was moving differently? Let me show you something amazing. Here's a cube. I'll spin it one way. Focus on it. Here we go! Spinning, spinning. Okay. Wait. The window went back, but why is the cube forward? It should be now. Should be now? Why back? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Ta -da, this was an illusion. Now. We're going to see the World Illusion Contest winner, but first, there are stairs. How does it appear? It goes up, I see a B. This seems like stairs, and that like a wall. Right? How about turning 180 degrees? Stairs upside down. 
Seems so. Let me turn it. Uh. It looks the same. The text flipped, so it turned 180 degrees. Huh? Why is it the same? Today is really confusing. This was just a warm up and the 3D version. One first place in the World Illusion Contest. Where does it go? This way. Here. Yes. Then I'll place a flag here. But if you turn it 180 degrees, where does it go? This side. This side will go up. This side. Right. Let me turn it. What? I can't believe it. Wait, this part's higher. Turn it. Ooh. Stairs like this? <laughs> this. Then this is higher? Yes. Try it. Like this? Hi here. I was right. Yes, it's higher. Turn, turn. Higher, right? <laughs> what is this? I'll show you more. More amazing. Really? Look. It was flat. It's not stairs. Flat. What? It was flat, but seemed like stairs, right? <laughs> Brain or eye issue? Eye issue. Why? Eye perception. <laughs> oh, that's one view. But my explanation might change your mind. Our brain interprets objects subjectively, not as they are. It looks like burnt toast. How does it look? The toast looks like Jesus. Right? It looks like that to me as well. Knowing Jesus' image, our brain interprets burn marks as his face. So, are all the things we saw examples of this? That's right. The brain. When shadows are on a flat surface, the brain sees it as 3D and perspective confuses whether something is near or far. In summary, illusions are the brain's misinterpretations during perception and interpretation. The end.